Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is your Kabayan Tech. This is part 2 of cloning your Windows hard drive using Macrium Reflect 8. But before we begin, we are on the 800 mark and for those who are new to our channel, take some time and click on the subscribe button. And if you are a current subscriber and like this video or any of my videos, kindly click on the like button. Thank you very much. So part 2 of using the Macrium Reflect 8. If you want the instructions on where to download and how to install it on your computer, it's written down on the description below or on the upper right link. So in this scenario, we are going to copy a hard drive to a bigger hard drive and reconfigure the layout of the partition. And also I'm going to show you that the Macrium Reflect 8 is capable of copying not just Windows partition, but also Linux partition with some limitations. So I have a 128 gig here of a Windows 11 computer, and I would like to copy this one on a 256 drive. What we do here is, since I'm using a thin client or a mini PC, I put the 256 drive on an external drive and plug it to one of the USB ports. Once I plug it, I'm just going to do a refresh and it's going to take a look on the added drive that we plugged in, which is the Kingston external drive. And we are going to click on clone this disk. And we're going to select the target disk. Again, for disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any data loss that you're going to incur on this program. Make sure that before you delete or copy or copy over your files to a different drive, make sure that you have backed up all your important information. So here on the screen, this is our source drive which is the 128 gigs you could also select only specific partition that you wanted to copy and play and put it on your destination drive but here since we're going to copy this one then we're going to select everything and then we're going to select the target drive I'm going to click select a this to clone to so it will show me the two drives that i have here so this is a usb stick i'm not going to use that one i'm going to use the kingston drive and i'm going to erase the disk then we have two options here we could do copy exact partition offset and length so when we click on this one it will copy and this will leave the excess as another layout if you wanted to add it you could also click on this one it you might notice that it will have an underline on it and then you could do fill the space uh, it will fill the remaining space you can even undo it you could do it manually by putting it on layout and it will show you if you want to resize this one the only downside on this software is if you have a non windows partition type for example an ext4 or other file type you can copy that partition but you won't be able to resize it so let me just cancel this and i'm going to do fill the space if you want to do it on a different method i'm going to undo this on copy partition you could choose shrink or extend fill so what will happen is if you click on this one whatever will be left for the main drive that is the one that it's going to fill up regardless if it's a smaller drive or a bigger drive of course if you're moving from a bigger drive to a smaller drive make sure that all of this will fit on the smaller drive then i click on next and then i'm going to click on finish once i'm done with clicking on finish before i'm going to check this one and continue make sure that you don't need any information from your destination drive it's because it's going to delete everything on that drive so i don't want you ending up losing your information so i'm, I'm going to check this one and click on continue then it's going to proceed with copying the data from the computer going to that larger drive when it comes to the amount of time that it's going to spend it all depends on the speed of the computer the speed of the drive the, the speed of the connection through the external drive so i won't be able to get you an exact time on this one will be finished so once it's done copying it took 32 minutes for this the drive to be copied we click on ok and then we click on close it's going to go back to the main screen so let's just compare those two drives so this is our main drive here and also this is the kingston external drive that we copied so once you're done with this one all you have to do is to shut down the computer take out the old drive and install the new drive coming from the external enclosure that we have and boot as per normal I'm not going to show you that anymore because that would be a, a different topic and we are more focusing on to the cloning function. So if you cannot take out the drive on your computer, please follow the instructions on your manufacturing guide. Or if it's a DIY build, of course, you already know how to take out the old drive from your DIY. So for the second scenario, what we are going to do is to copy multiple types of partition on one drive and copy it to a bigger drive here. So these two drives are the ones that we're going to take note. So this is a 128 and this is a 256. You might notice that the Windows partition is somewhere around the 60 to 64 gigs. And the other partition that I have here is the FAT32 and also the EXT4. So there are limitations when it comes to copying non-Windows partition and I will show it to you later. So we're going to go on to this one and we're going to do clone this disk. Then it will show you the partitions that are on the source drive. Then we click on the destination drive. So I'm going to have the Kingston. I already plugged this one and it is through an external drive that we have here. And I'm going to select this. 
And next is if I don't need this one, I'm just going to erase it, but make sure that you already backed up all the important files on the destination drive. If you want to copy this one as is, and you're going to choose the first type of partition method, it's going to show you that there will be 120 gigs of additional storage. You could, if for example, this is a system of Batocera and you're putting ROMs or games and you want it to have bigger storage for your games, then you could leave this one as is. All you have to do is to change something on the configuration file on, under Batocera. Unfortunately, when it comes to different partition, I won't be able to change the layout. It doesn't support that format, though it's going to read it, but it cannot edit that format so i'm just going to cancel this so in here if you want we could change the size of the windows drive if you want to give more files on it best way to do it is when you click on the last part which is this one we have to float it to the right so that the available space will go right next to the windows 10 so we move this one and float to the right and once it is side by side you click on the windows 10 and then if you want to allocate this extra space to windows 10 you click on fill space it's going to readjust its size from the typical 60 64 gigs that we have here on the original if you want to only occupy a specific amount of space i'm going to undo this and you just wanted for example to have this one as an 80 gig drive and the rest will be given to whatever partition you want to give it to click on the windows drive and click on layout so here what will happen is either you could drag this one here and you will see on the left side that we have the 81 gigs in here or if you want to be exact let's put 80 gigs Okay, and then you click on OK. Comparing it from the original one, which is 64, you have assigned 80 gigs of total space for your Windows 10. And there is another 97, 98 gigs of free storage. If you want to float the free space to your Batocera partition, all you have to do is float the other partition to the left so that the free space will go to your right. So here on this setup, our intention is to have an 80 gigs of storage for Windows and then the rest of the free space will be allocated to the EXT4 uh, partition for your Batocera provided you have changed the configuration on the Batocera system. Then we click on Next and then we click on Finish. Once we click on Finish, it will ask us to if we want to override the destination drive. Again, make sure that you have backed up all the important information on the destination drive. I'm not responsible for any data loss that will happen from this procedure. I'm going to check it and then click on continue. Then it's going to go through with the copy process and this will take a little bit more time. So once done, click on OK and click on close. And then it's going to analyze the partitions again. You might notice the 128 here against the 256 that we have here. So your next step would be to shut down the computer, take out the old drive and put in the new drive that you have on your external drive and boot as per normal. So let me just boot into Windows. This would be somewhat new to you. If you want me to create a video on how to do the multi-boot uh, configuration using grab to win kindly write a comment down below. So let's go on to the Windows 10 system. When I go on to this PC, it will show you now the drives that were allocated. So in this case now, it's 80 gigs. And then we have the 12 gigs partition for the Batocera. You might notice that the rest of the drive didn't show up. It's because it is an EXT4 partition. And that is allotted for the Batocera ROM. So for me to expand that ROM drive, so all I have to do is go to Batocera folder and then go on to the Batocera configuration file and I'm going to open it using a notepad. So I, all I have to do is to take out the auto resize for the user data partition and then save. If you want to learn how to do the multi-partition on OneDrive, I could show it to you on another video. Kindly just write it down below. And so, I'm going to restart my computer. And once we boot up again, I'm going to go to the Batocera. It's going to do the configuration that we did on expanding the drive, as you can see on the screen. Okay. And once it boots up to Batocera, I go to F1. It's going to go onto the Batocera file system. It used to be here that the total files is just 64 gigs. Now it has a total of 145 gigs. So it expanded that drive to Batocera. And at the same time, we were able to expand the drive on the Windows partition. And that's it, mga kabayan techers. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, kindly write them down below. If you like this video, kindly click on the thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.